probabilities here. It says my well, microphone's way over there, so let's move it over here. All right, so it says we have five of these altimeters that are correct. So I'm going to say five equals correct. And two that are not correct. So we'll call that not correct. And we're choosing three at a time. And we want to fill out this probability table that I already showed you the answers. Woohoo! But how did I get those? And then we want to find the actual mean. So to find, notice it says that we're choosing three. So to find the probability that X equals zero and zero, notice it says X represents the numbers that are not correctly calibrated. So if none of them are correctly calibrated, hard word for me to say, that means the probability that they're all good. So probability calibrated and so the first one's good, the second one's good, and the third one's good. Form a calculator. All right, so if there's five correct and two non-correct, then that means there's a total of seven. So all we do is plug in the probabilities. If the first one is correct, that's five out of the total. Notice it says that there is no replacement. So that means now there's four correct, but only six left, and then three correct out of five. So I pick up my handy dandy calculator and I take five sevenths times four six times three fifths, and I get that answer right there 0 0.2857. All right, if I want to know if one is not correct. This one's a little trickier because could it be the first one's not correct and then the other two are correct? Or could it be the first one's correct, the second one is not correct, this one's correct? Or could it be, could it be, could it be this? And so you're going to notice if you work these, you're going to get the same probability. So not correct is 2 out of 7 times now correct 5, and we have 6 left. We have 4 correct out of 5. So I take 2 7 times 5, 6 times 4 fifths, and I get this 0 0.19047. And if you do the same thing here, so probability correct, 5 out of 7, not correct, 2 out of 6, correct, what I have, 4 out of 5, you're going to get the same answer, 047. The next one, correct, 5 out of 7, correct, 4 out of 6, correct, not correct, 2 out of 5. And the reason why, if you think, oh, wow, this is magic math, Notice that the denominators, the 7 times 6 times 5, are the same. And the numerators, 2, 5, 4, they're just in different order. So you can now add those, or what you could have done is you could have just simply take the one, the point 19047 and multiplied it by 3, and guess what you get? You get that value right there. Okay, so this is where it gets a little trickier is you have to recognize, you know, kind of the order. And the same thing happens where if I have the probability x equals, uh oh, x equals 2 are bad. Well, if 2 are bad, that means that one's bad and that one's bad, right? And then the next one's good. But then again, the order might matter. Bad, good, bad, good, bad, bad. And so once again, not NC, not calibrated, not correct is two out of seven, one out of six, and then we have what? Five out of five. Well, guess what? If we look at the next line, we're gonna have two out of seven, five out of six, and then one out of five, look at the numbers again on top, 215, 215. The next one, correct, is five out of seven, not correct, two out of six, one out of five. 
And so if I just simply multiply 5 divided by 7 times 2 divided by 6 times 1 divided by 5, I get this value. I get this value for all three of these, 0 0.0476. And once again, just simply multiply that times 3, and I get that number, 0 0.1429 rounded. Now, this last one, the reason why it's zero, the probability that they're all, all three are not correct, well, there's only two that are not correct, so that's impossible to get all three being not correct. All right, so that's how I get those probabilities, but now how do I get the mean? If you remember how to find the mean for a probability distribution, you take each x value and you multiply it by the probability. Well, that one's easy because that's 0 times 0 0.2857. I take the next one and I multiply it times, uh oh, I lost my 7 there. I multiply it times 1, if I can write. And then I take 2 times 0.1429 and I get, so I'm multiplying each x times its probability. I get 2858. That one's nice because that's going to be zero. So I'm going to take 0 0.2858 plus 0 0.5714. And definitely do the rounding, but this is the value I'm going to get. 0.2858.